Hello, my name is Corey from First Tech Challenge Team 9779 The Pieters, and today we have a video on updating the FTC App Master. Remember that the FTC App Master is First's SDK that they released to build the app that runs on your robot controller phone. Throughout the build season, First might release uh, updates to the SDK, and it's sometimes a hassle to remember how to update your SDK and make sure all of your out modes transfer over so that you don't lose any of your hard work. So the first thing we're going to do is rename the old one to hide it from Android Studio. So I've gone to my App Master location and I'm just going to click on it twice and rename it old. For now, make sure to hold on to this because our op modes are in here and also if something goes wrong, you always want to have something to revert back to. Okay, so now we're going to go over to GitHub and download the latest version. So I'm just going to close that out. I'm just going to search GitHub, which is G-I-T-H-U-B, FTC App Master. And it should be the first thing that comes up, so you can just click on that. You're just going to go over to the green button that says clone or download, and we're going to download the zip. I'm going to save mine in my downloads folder. So now that we have it downloaded, I'm just going to go into my downloads folder by opening a new file explorer and find what we just downloaded. So here it is right here. Now you're going to want to take out the contents in that zip folder either by unzipping it or unpacking it. Just get them out of there and put them right next to the old FTC App Master. So what I'm going to do is just go inside of the folder and I'm going to copy and paste its contents into right next to our other folder. I'm going to go ahead and open up our old folder. I'm just going to come over here and copy and then come over here next to our old FTC app master and paste. So now we have our old one right next to our new one. I'm just going to close out some stuff we don't need. Now we're just going to transfer the op modes over from the old one into the new one. So we're going to go into the old FTC app master and team code, src, main, java, org, first inspires, FTC, team code, and then here's where your op mode should be. So we're just going to go back one. So I'm going to copy and then I'm going to go back to the other FTC app master and I'm gonna find it in team code src main java org first inspires FTC and then here's the team code folder there shouldn't be anything in here except a readme so we're just gonna delete that old team code folder and paste in the new team code folder so now your op modes are inside the new SDK if you don't want your old op modes or you don't have any old op modes, you can just leave it the way it is and you don't have to go back and copy and paste all that stuff. You can just leave it the way it is. So now we're ready to launch Android Studio. So once Android Studio is launched, it comes up with a screen that's different than usual. That's because we uh, hid the FTC App Master from Android Studio by naming it old. So now we need to actually point it to the new SDK. Now we're just going to import the project. Make sure to click import project instead of open project because if you click open project it'll seem like it works but it won't actually work. So make sure you're clicking import project. That's important. And it'll bring up this little screen. We're just going to go to our new SDK. So I'll go find my version of that. It's right here, FTC App Master. And I'm going to go inside of that and find build.gradle. Now once you have that selected just click OK. and then it should come up with a loading bar like this. This part should take a while, so I'm just going to skip ahead. Then just go over to the, after the out modes are in there, so just go project tab, where your folders are, go to the team code, java, or .ftcspires.ftc.teamcode, and then your out modes should be in there. Or if you just started fresh, there shouldn't be anything in here. So that should do it for updating the SDK. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and we'll try to answer them for you. And we'll see you in the next video.